Hi YouTube. I hope you're doing good. You might hear a little bit of noise. Doug's out zooming around on um, the four-wheeler. So I think before he covers it back up, it has a snow plow on it. And so um, anyway, um, yeah, I got a, a kitty found a home last night and maybe tonight and another woman in a couple of days wants a couple. This guy tonight might want a couple. So we're finding good homes. The two ladies last night that came and got a little girl one, um, they were super happy. They came all the way out of the city just to get this little kitten, you know. So they have one at home. And this one looks almost like the one they have that was lonely. So they wanted to get, I think that was just an excuse to get more kitties because in their house, you know, one for each or something. I don't know, but they loved her. That's the main point. So, yeah, I made this really cool, um, it's like a lasagna that you make in your crock pot. You get those. It's super easy. You get those um, man manicotti noodles. They're about yay big and about, oh, about a couple inches in diameter and ribbed, you know. And so, and it's super easy. You just stick um, them sticks of mozzarella cheese. I didn't have that. I've got, um, it's cheddar with hot pepper in it, some of them sticks. But that's what I use. But you're supposed to use mozz mozzarella. So, but anyway, so you take your cheese stick and stick it in the manicotti's. And um, there's 14 of them. And you layer them. You have hamburger that you brown. And then you have your spaghetti sauce. And so you put your manicottis in the bottom of your crock pot. Seven of them. Put some meat on there. Put more manicottis. Seven on another layer. And um, then pour the sauce over the whole thing. And it's supposed to be done in three hours. So we'll see. Doug saw it on a guy's channel. Well, one thing I did do just in case is I put a little bit of olive oil in this, on my crock pot before I started layering stuff in there. Because um, I... I'm, I know spaghetti sauce and cheese, it's going to stick, so that'll help. And besides, the olive oil will be good in the sauce, you know, as part of the pasta dish. So, yeah, it'll, and then I'm going to have some salad with some of that, so later. I'll tell you how it turns out. Three hours, I guess, on high in your crock pot, so... We'll see. <laughs> so, yeah. I had a lady wanting me to um, text her a picture of the kittens. Um, and I might, we don't get texts out here. We only have a landline for our phone. And I'm on my laptop. And I do have a camera. But, um, anyway. So, um, that's the best I can do. I've got so much work into these cats around here and just so many things to do today and not enough time to have um, even uh, any relaxation time. Although I did play some music today, but that was in between getting all my work done this morning, so... It's like, yeah, I haven't even exercised yet. I thought I better make supper and get that done before I get tired because um, last night people came. For me, it's kind of late. I start winding down, and it was after dark, and I know they were scared. I met them down at the end of my driveway um, because it is kind of muddy, and Doug drove down there, and he said, ah, maybe they shouldn't, unless they want to get towed out of here, and then, too, it would tear it up. Um, so I just told him, uh, 
I go, do you want to walk up? I, I walk down to meet them so they wouldn't get scared, you know, coming up the driveway in the dark. And then, uh, but I had, the second time I came down with the kitten, I had a headlamp thingy on, but, uh, and the kitten wasn't scared at all. I asked mom, you want to say goodbye? And she goes, no. I'm like, okay. Eh, she's ready. She's ready. This one woman said, are you ready to have them gone? Uh, yes and no. It was hard to hand that kitten over. I saw her be born and, you know, have been taking care of her ever since, you know, with the mom helping keep them clean and all that, you know, it's like, yeah, no, you know, but we have a lot of cats around here and there's always some, you know, she wouldn't be in the house, the mama, if she didn't get injured, you know, but she definitely needed help and I could help her, so. But I told those ladies, if it wasn't for the pig farmers feeding kitties and puppies to their pigs, and that's what you're buying in the store in your ham, maybe, never know. And um, they come and get whatever's free to feed the pigs. And um, also people coming out of the city to take animals to the lab to do things to them, you know, for experiments and all that. So it's like, that's the only reason I have a small fee on there. Otherwise, you know, to make sure that they're just not going to be pig food or whatever, you know. If somebody's really going to drive over an hour, it's about 80 miles, but you can make it if you go up the interstate, you can make it just in a little bit over an hour, you know. Depending. But yeah. So they were happy. I was happy. Everybody was. So. Yeah. And then uh, the little black one thinks he's going tonight. He start, When he heard that, he started flipping around and acting all cute because they want their own person. You know, they don't get enough attention. Once I start petting them, they all just want hugs, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what if I have a topic necessarily today or really I was thinking narcissistic stuff, you know, like. Oh, pardon me. I do have a phone call here. Um, it could be. I'm going to have to get back to y'all. Hello?